<sighs> hey y'all thank you for coming to my channel i am saving grace 999 tarot back with another general message for the collective don't know what's coming out but i'm gonna start with the psychic tarot oracle deck and we're gonna work around that it will be a general message so please take what resonate leave the rest don't try to force it to fit if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by Go ahead, hit the subscription button, become a part of the family. I would love to have you. I do curse. So if you don't want to hear me cursing, you might not want to watch me. And if you wear your feelings on your sleeve again, you might not want to watch me. Because I'm not finna sugarcoat this shit. To all my returning viewers, hey y'all. What's the motherfucking deal? Thank you guys for the love and the support. The likes, comment, share, and subscribes. Thank y'all for allowing me to do readings for y'all. Thank y'all for the donations and the gifts, which are always appreciated. And thank y'all for fucking with me. Y'all already know I fucks with y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So go and get your blunt, get your drink, whatever you need, if you need anything. If you don't, cool. Just remember general, okay? So don't force it to fit. Spirit, bless the collective with the messages that they need to hear, not what they want to hear when it comes to this reading. Protect me as I channel the messages for the collective's highest good. Anybody sending any negative energy my way, I ask that that energy is returned to sender a thousandfold. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. So I guess I'll do a you versus them. We're going to do a you on this side and a them on this side. So, again, general, take what resonates, lead the rest. Okay. So, spirit. Let's see. When it comes to the energy of the collective, what is the energy of the collective? Show me what I need to see. For this you versus them. I did a cover up yesterday, y'all. So, my hand a little slow, but we good. Do you hear me? So, when it comes to the collective, what's the energy of the Whoa. Baby, that's just too many. <laughs> but the top card was the hermit. Okay? Sacrifice. It was the hermit card. So, y'all probably in a place where you spending a lot of time you don't withdrew your energy from a lot of people so when it comes to the collective what is the energy of the collective what is the energy oh shit fully and completely balanced within your masculine and feminine energy with the lover's card okay so that means y'all standing in y'all power look at this at a, in a place of balance. I told you. Y'all done pulled y'all energy back. And y'all done poured all that energy that you were pouring into other people. Other things. Whatever the case may be. Into yourself. Now you in a completely balanced. Harmonious place. Within yourself. Okay. Congratulations. <clears throat> and when it comes to. The person on the collective's mind. <laughs> what is their energy? <clears throat> I just want one. See what I'm saying? Both of y'all. Three cards at the at three tried to come out for you. Three tried to come out for them. So let's see. Oh, they could be facing some obstacles and challenges, baby. Because oh, child, I just seen the firm foundation card. Okay, when it comes to the the person on the collective's mind, what is their energy? Oh, the new beginning card in the reverse. Ugh, so the person on your... <clears throat> I just smoked y'all, so yeah. Just look over me. So the person on your mind is trying to have some type of brand new beginning, but unfortunately, that's not happening. Oh, and look. And see, they could be in a place where they have withdrew their energy. Now they in the Herman energy soul searching, trying to figure out what they're going to do with their life or what can they do with their life. Look, they but they got to definitely make some type of decision. They got to make a decision. But they want to they wanna start over. But, but how? Child. I don't know. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Child. <clears throat> Hope you guys had a beautiful day yesterday. Uh, so let's see. What tarot deck do I want to use? Y'all homegirl over there behind me. She, uh, I guess she in her feelings a little bit. You know what I mean? 
Does she in her feelings? Okay. Oh, ten of swords. Quit playing. So somebody's going through some type of painful ending, and I don't think it's y'all. I don't think it's y'all because <laughs> y'all in this harmony, balance, the justice, and the lovers. Yeah, I don't think this is y'all in this ten of swords energy. I think this is whoever this person is that's on your mind. Oh, yeah, it's the player. Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. It's the playboy or the playgirl, the person that you were dealing with that was inconsistent, that were in and out. Mm -hmm. It's them. Look, see what I'm saying? You the Empress. They, they the Knight of Wands. You, male or female, you are in a, a place of balance. And they just all over the fucking place. <laughs> they all over the place. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Why is this person unable to have a new beginning? What are they what are they doing? <clears throat> I'm trying not to. Cause baby, that knocking just baby, I'm telling you, cause y'all see my hand is swole, y'all child. So I'm trying. Okay. Just just be patient with me. Let's, let's get this all blunt. I am, am, okay? If you don't, you know. So. <laughs> My hand is the Robbie. You hear me? The bad. Three of ones. Look, yeah, they waiting. They unable to move on. They can't move on. They waiting for something, so... Why is this person on the collective's mind unable to have a new beginning? What's going on with this person? Why is the new beginning look? Because, baby, the devil got a hold on them and won't let them go. Mm -hmm. The devil card, and in this devil card, you see that the devil is playing this person like a puppet. <laughs> they can't move forward because the devil got a hold on them. Somebody could be keeping them stuck with spell work as well. Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. It's something that they want to get away from. They want to run from something, but they can't because the devil got a hold on them. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. And they struggling financially. Look, two of Cups under the bottom of the deck. So, maybe they tried to start a relationship with somebody new. And they found out that this person is the devil. And they realized and they, they shouldn't have made an impulsive decision. They made somebody made a decision too quick and now they losing everything. When it came to a relationship, look, the player. Yeah. They they, they made a decision too quick when it came to somebody. Ace of Swords. I'm telling the truth. And now they suffering in silence basically. With the five of pentacles, they 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 struggling. This is somebody who could have been kind of closed off. Um, I'm, I'm getting closed off emotionally because the key right here and then the, the, the lock right here, this is somebody who was not vulnerable. They were closed off emotionally, not trying to get nobody the key to their heart, but I kind of feel like they they kind of did give somebody the key to their heart, and, and, and it could have been you, but they was running from it or they tried to run from it. Child, so let's see. So, what's going on with this person? Ooh. 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 And the hermit. I told you. They dealing with a karmic energy. They are involved in some type of karmic lesson right now. The queen of swords in the reverse and the knight of cups in the reverse. They made an impulsive decision and now they paying the consequences. Hermit. So, they are, you know... Soul searching, trying to figure out what they got going on. And I said we saw the sacrifice card. Right now, they are definitely soul searching. Because the person that they dealing with, oh, this person is angry for no reason. They just all over the place for no reason. <laughs> Look, God laughing at their ass. Because it's, it's funny. It's funny. And you should laugh at their ass too. Because they, they made this decision to go toward this person. And now they stuck, unable to move forward, trying to figure out what they're going to do with themselves. What else? <clears throat> what else going on with this person? <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Eh? Look, they praying. Look at what's on top, the star. They pr praying, asking God to release them from this hell that they done got themselves in four cups. 
not happy at all. Saving Grace 999. Not happy at all. What else? What's going on with this person? Baby, I told you they suffering in silence with the moon, death, and the rebirth, and the high priestess. This person is suffering in silence, but they're going through a spiritual awakening. And you are the cause of them going through a spiritual awakening. Look. The sun. Yep. And all three of these are major. I mean, all four of these are major arcanas. So the reason this person is not able to move forward is because they're going through a spiritual awakening. And this spiritual awakening was... You were the reason this person is going through the spiritual awakening. Now, you're not the karmic energy that were in their life. They were dealing with the karmic energy. Now, this karmic energy could be anybody. It could be somebody platonic or romantic, family member, friend, lover, either or. But it was somebody in their life that was treating them like a puppet, that was, you know, was able to manipulate them. And they made an impulsive decision and they regret it. Even though the Five of Pentacles is not a regret card, the way that this person is on this card, look, baby, they regret it. They regret it because not only are they not able to move forward, they not even able to get out of some type of financial hole they done got themselves in. They not able to get out of it. That's why they in this Herman energy trying to figure out what's next. <laughs> why is the Five of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Oh, Knight of Pentacles, baby. Yeah, they don't. They look. Yeah, they lost. Uh, they lost some some shit going back to somebody. So for some of y'all, this person that you watching this video for, they went back to maybe like an ex. They went back to a job. They start back doing something that they shouldn't have been doing, and that's how they end up losing. They shouldn't have went towards another situation with an offer. Mm, mm, mm. They shouldn't have. But they did. They did. It was either stay in a relationship or stay in a situation with you, listen to you, or free themselves and take a leap of faith. And see, they was thinking what they did, not they hid. Male or female. They were thinking between their legs, not... They weren't thinking, you know, logically when they made this decision. <laughs> so because they weren't thinking logically, guess what? Now they got to pay the price. Now they got to pay the consequences. For not thinking logically when they was making decisions. <laughs> the Queen of Cups. And see, because I'm going to clarify your side. This person, whoever this is that's stuck, they had a choice between you and maybe somebody else. Whether it was a... Uh, like I said, a platonic situation or romantic. If it was platonic, you know, it could have been a family member that didn't want this person with you or talking to you or around you. And because they didn't have a backbone, they listened to this person and now they suffer. But if for a lot of y'all, it's definitely a romantic, <laughs> a romantic situation. So let's see. But when it comes to you, oh shit, baby, completely in a place of balance and harmony like peace well you in a, com a place of peace within yourself not just you know with the people around you but within yourself okay when it comes to the collective show me what i need to see clarify this love of god this is a good sign though being completely balanced within your masculine and feminine energy. Eight of Pentacles focus strictly on, you know, building your career, working on yourself, whatever it is. You have been working extremely hard to become a better version of yourself, and it's paying off. So, harmony. Lovers. Why is the lovers card? Okay, wait a minute. What is this? The Three of Pentacles. And it's flipped over the wheel of fortune. You being put into some type of third party situation caused some type of significant change within you. So it could have been this person putting you in a third party situation and you just pulling back, going with it, and evolving into a better version of yourself. Shit. But not so much this person. <laughs> Harmony, why is the love of color here for the collective? 
Seven of Wands. Look at this shit. Y'all set boundaries. Y'all pulled y'all energy back from a person, place, or thing and set boundaries. Full of swords. Healing. And then, look, y'all pulled back from a water sign. Council Scorpio Pisces. Could have been a Gemini. But, baby, y'all pulled y'all energy back from somebody and set boundaries. And you doing that, you have allowed yourself to become completely emotionally balanced. The King of Cups is somebody who's emotionally balanced. Like, they not over the place emotionally. So, you are in a completely balanced emotional state right now. You have healed. I don't know what it was you had to heal when you were dealing with this person, but you've healed it. And, the, and, and you set some boundaries. You've learned some lessons. And you set some strong boundaries with people around you. Look, Seven of Cups. And, and people are confused. You got a lot of people confused. Because you're moving different. Saving Grace 999. You're moving different. What else? But that's too many at one time. But look, that was the Queen of Swords, though. You're moving different. And you standing your ground. You standing on business. Seven of Wands. Shit, you ain't letting nobody confuse you emotionally or anything. <laughs> Shit, they what? Because you've healed that part of you. You could have been extremely, you know, in your feminine where you was always, because the Queen of Cups is somebody who's, you know, very compassionate, you know, somebody who who's led by their feelings, but not anymore. Now you emotionally balanced. The real swords in the reverse. I told you, you've healed. Y'all have healed through some type of heartache and pain, and it could have been a, a water sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign that broke your heart, but... Whatever, whoever it was, you feel through it. You feel through it. What else? The Empress, baby. I told you. Not only have you healed, but you have ascended. You have arrived. This situation pushed you to, to go through a spiritual awakening as well. You went through a spiritual awakening first. Now this person is going through a spiritual awakening. <laughs> Oh, child. What is? One more. Why is the love so terrible? Whatever you went through, whatever pain you suffered through, it, it, it put you in, in a very good place. Spiritually. Spiritually speaking. Three of Cups. Yeah. You're in a good place. And I don't know what you separated yourself from or what you walked away from, but ever since you walked away from it, you have been a lot happier. Five of Wands, but not the people you walked away from. You got people mad and upset with you because maybe you don't want to fuck with these people no more. And I mean, you don't have to fuck with them. You ain't you ain't got to deal with people. I just kind of feel like these were people who were holding you back. Five of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. You could have been dealing with people who were holding you back trying to keep you stuck, the hangman. And you could have just woke up to... You know what? I'm better than this. I don't need to hang around these people. I don't need to fuck with these people. I don't need to fuck with this person. I'm I'm done. I'm over it. I'm finna move on. And you just got some people that don't like it. Definitely an ex that don't like it because whoever this ex is, if this is a romantic situation, baby, this person thought that they was gonna move on with their life and, you know, they, they life was gonna be so much better than yours. And it's not. <laughs> mm -mm. It's not. It is not at all. So what's going on behind the scenes that the collective may not be aware of? You could be being cyber bullied. It, it's probably somebody that got to do with this person over here that's stuck. So what do the collective need to know or be aware of? See what I'm saying? Listening to fake news. There are people talking about you. Somebody gossiping about you. But it's fake news. I kind of feel like this person that's gossiping about you, they're only gossiping about you because they see you over here. You healed. You you compl in a ba completely balanced state. And they could be all over the place. So, of course, they want people to look at you. They project. Of course, they want people to look at you as the person that's all over the place when they the one that's all over the place. Now, what's the tea? What's going on? I'm going to put these over here. What is going on? What is going on? 
Put that right there. So what's going on? Look, dirty awful. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody accepted a dirty awful. And I definitely don't think it was you. I think it was whoever this person is. Somebody went back to a situation and it was a whole dirty fucking awful. And now they stuck. <laughs> they got played, child. So what's the tea on, on this person <laughs> that, that stuck? What's the tea on this person? They cyber stalking you. <laughs> they stalking you. Shit, they stalking you because they look and they 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 trying to cope with what they got going on. They could be popping pills, they could be smoking, drinking, whatever the case may be, but they trying to cope. They trying to cope with the shit that they going through. Moving on. It's about to pop off. I cannot make it up. Yeah, they they life is 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 <laughs> they life is in shambles right now. Look, and they holding the grudge against you. Probably because you not fucking with them, I'm sure. The high priestess, yeah, you ain't fucking with them. You ain't talking to them. Shit, if this is somebody that walked away from you and went towards another person, shit, it's like, okay, you you went to, toward that person, so I'm moving on with my life, and they mad that you moving on. Mad that you moving on with your life, okay? Well, what you gonna be mad for? It's crazy. Well, now they stalking you, because you don't look... It, whoever these people are or this person is, they feel like you stuck up because you don't want to fuck with them no more. <laughs> but see, this is somebody who definitely thought they were better than you in the past. They did. They thought they was looking. Now they mad. Vengeful. Gold digger. I'm telling you. They thought that they was going towards another situation that was going to be better. And it's not. In the closet. Some of y'all, the person that they chose over you is somebody that's in the closet. They, they're they on the down low. They like the same thing. And I don't think this is the person. This is not your person, the, the person on your mind. This is the person that they went towards after you. They The person they chose over you is into the same sex. They were just cock blocking. Okay. They were just cock blocking this person. And this person was just too dumb to see that. Look, now they want you back. Yeah, now they want you back. <laughs> now they want you back. You need people like me. Plies. That's the song that just came on. This person realized they need you in their life. Because whoever they chose over you. <laughs> trash. Y'all homegirl did them over there behind the door snoring. Sounded like a grown ass man. But what's, what else? What's going on <laughs> with this person that's stuck? Boss, babe, always rising. Oh, they just thinking about you. They just always thinking about you. Reminiscing about you. <laughs> that's what they doing. That's all they do. But what else? What else? I told you. And they holding a the grudge. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, y'all. Oh my 
my god i thought i put y'all on pause y'all that was um uh, amazon my bad i could have sworn i put this on pause well my bad y'all <laughs> but yeah that was uh had to give a package to amazon but anyway this person is holding a grudge against y'all and unfortunately it's because that the path they chose led them to destruction and the path you chose led you to you know a, a glow up or something Look, <laughs> fighting whatever they doing and wherever they are <clears throat> it's just misery because all they do is fight with the person <laughs> that they chose over you that's how, look see now they want to play the victim Yep, I told you they projecting. Now they want to play the victim because of the, the decisions that they made. Look, thinking, trying to figure out what they're going to do to um, maybe get you to maybe t talk to them, say something to them or something. Black Widow. Okay, so you may have a third party that's trying to figure out how they can catfish you. Pretender, yeah, they may have somebody pretend like they fucking with you or that they like you or something to get you to, you know, to throw you off, the, throw you off their trail and then maybe, you know, break your heart or try to break your heart or try to break your confidence or something like that. So just be aware of the, the people that you meet, like new people, if you meet any new people. Okay, when it comes to <clears throat> the collective, what's the T on the collective? We already know you in this boss babe energy having some type of glow up and, and pissing people off doing it. But let's see. I know you got some stuff. You ain't just everything ain't just perfect for you and with you. Okay? Just cause you in a better place than this person don't mean shit not going bad for you too. Look, yeah, you 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 into it with somebody too, or somebody wanna be into it with you. What's the tea with the collective? And if it don't apply, let it fly. Okay. What's the tea with the collective? What is the tea with the collective? Clout chaser projecting a false image. I told you somebody is projecting a false image on you. See, look, sexual, somebody could be out here, yeah, catfish. What's the tea on you is somebody out here trying to say you got something or that you out here spreading something but they actually project that they the one who out here spreading something damn baby these whoever this is that's lying on you they want to ruin your reputation because you're doing better than them but they just projecting what else what's going what's the tea with the collective Look, they calling you a fake influencer so if you do anything online like i do i i um I read tarot. People go, oh, she don't know what she doing. She 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 just saying anything. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I mean, you know, because people going to do that. You're going to have haters. But just know, you only have haters when you're doing something right. So, people, basically, you got people out here talking about you because you just in a much better place than they are. And they trying to project. Look, you probably done start running. You know, you trying to get your health under control. And they mad. They just mad at you. <laughs> that nothing is working for them. See, they, they thought they was better than you. And now they realizing that they not. Because you able to move on. They can't. Look at this. Unhappily married. Child, they saying you ain't happy in a relationship. Like if you in a relationship with somebody, they saying you lying. You not happy. Y'all, look, cry, you crying over your eggs and you want this person back and you trying to do everything in your power to break them up. Child, somebody is really projecting on y'all. Somebody is really projecting. Look, hater, I cannot make it up. Y'all got somebody out here gossiping about you, hating on you, simply because you done had some type of glow up. And they, they hating on you. Look, and the sad part about it is, they trying to dig up dirt on you and, you know, bring up old shit about you, but they can't. It ain't shit that they can bring up on you that's gonna make you look no type of way because you not the person that you used to be. Y'all know I say that all the time. Report it to Human Resources. Some of y'all, this is somebody that work with you. You got a hater at work gossiping, saying that, you know, you, you fake, you know, your relationship is, you ain't in no happy relationship. You used to this, you used to that, and that, but they, they just, hate. you got a lot of haters. I'm going to say that much. Y'all got some haters. 
And then they saying you crying over your ex when that's not the truth. How do the collective feel about the ex? I'm going to say, look, these people are just trying to paint a false narrative with, with catfish. They want people to see you in a, a, in a negative way. But let's see how you truly feel about the ex. Let's see. How do the collective truly feel <clears throat> about the ex? Motives. What is your motives with me? Y'all don't trust this person. <laughs> but the song is playing his motives by Tink. <clears throat> Y'all don't trust this person. <laughs> How do the collective feel about an ex? Because, see, whoever this person is that's trying to paint this narrative about you, look, it's somebody that they could be in a relationship. I feel like it's a third party or somebody in their family. <clears throat> Baby, it's, look, and whoever they are, they're stubborn. they stubborn as fuck. They want everybody to believe them. So, this is crazy. How do the collective truly feel about the ex? Look, you think about them. The six of cups, you think about them. And for some of y'all, y'all may want this person back. Who knows? How do the collective truly feel about the ex? How do the collective truly feel about the ex? How do they truly <clears throat> feel about the ex? Oh, baby, that's dead. <laughs> you may think about them from time to time. You may even think about what could have been, you know, with this person. But the death card tells me that you, you don't want this person back. You don't want to be with this person. And that could be why you're in a much better place <laughs> within yourself. Because you've completely ended the situation with somebody. Look, five of cups. And you already know that this person regret everything that they put you through. They they regret it. <clears throat> they regret it because you didn't deserve it with the temperance card. Whatever they put you through, you did not deserve it. My ears are clogged up, y'all. And I don't know if it's <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I took a shower or whatever. But I cannot stand that. That echo. Child, I can't. Consistent. Yeah, you, you want somebody that's going to be consistent. So the fact that these people or, or this person, whoever this is, trying to project and make it seem like, you know, you you not happy without your ex and that you 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 trying to break them and the ex up and be, it's, it's again, it's just fake news because they secretly hating on you. And for some of y'all, if the, the ex is going along with it, it's because of the guilt that they carry. That's it. That's all. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Y'all have, y'all have no interest in this person, in this ex. Y'all don't. How do the ex feel about the collective? How do this ex feel about the collective? The seven of cups in the reverse. So they they were once confused about you. But now they not. What are they not confused about anymore? King of Wands. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. Baby, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And the baby. See, this is somebody who thought they could find better. In the past. They thought they could find better than you. So, instead of going, being with you, somebody they were passionate about. They chose somebody that they thought would be. That could make them more stable. And, you know, unfortunately, they went towards stability versus what they were passionate about. And they got played with the magician. They got played, yeah. They realized they made the wrong choice. That's how they feel about you. They made the wrong choice about you in the past. Yep. And the moon card tells me that they definitely suffer in silence. <laughs> they suffer in silence. So... Let's see what your higher self wants you to know when it comes to this situation. Because it looks like y'all are in a good place, but not so much this person. 
they going through their spiritual awakening. Y'all have already went through y'all spiritual awakening. Y'all in a much better place. Saving Grace 999. Y'all in a much better place spiritually. Now, what do the collective's higher self need and want them to know? What do the collective's higher self need and want them to know? What do the collective's higher self need and want them to know? You are not alone. <laughs> Keep praying. Your prayers are being answered. Keep praying. But the card that came out, you are not alone. And it says... <clears throat> you are not alone. It says, as you walk the spiritual path, you will feel isolated at times. However, this is simply one of the many tricks of the ego, which believes it is a separate entity. It relies on what the world tells you and what the eyes can physically see. The ego is the rational part of our mind that believes you are only a body, not a spirit, inhabiting a body. And because of that, you look like a separate being with an individual life, unlike to anyone or anything. Beyond the ego, there lies knowledge of your true identity. Your higher self holds the key to unlock the memory of your divine selfhood. And by connecting to it, it will reveal that you are eternally connected to source, energy, and all of the creation and are never alone. Damn, my bad. Why y'all ain't say nothing? I'm just going all over here. Y'all just watch me just, just drift. Child. Anyway. <laughs> it says this card comes to remind you that regardless of where you are, there is always a spiritual team beside you. Throughout your journey, even if you cannot see them, your team consists of guardian angels, spirit guides, ancestors, and or deceased loved ones who wish to support you, uplift you, and guide you. The creator knows, the creator spirit knows that earth is one of the most difficult schools in the universe and will not allow you to come here without a vast network of resources to use on your mission. Yet, there will be disappointment, hardship, and failures. But your team is here to help you see the light within these dark moments so that you can move forward fearlessly. If you've been feeling lonely and without support, call out to your spiritual team since they are more than happy to help and send waves of love your way. If you are unable to sense or feel your spirit team, then ask your higher self to help you connect, since it knows the best method suitable for you. So I don't care what you got going on or what you're going through. Your angels, ancestors, spirit guides, they want you to know that you're not in this alone. You, whatever you're going through, you're not in it alone. Just keep praying. All you have to do is continue to pray. Your prayers are being heard. Okay. But this you versus them is nice. Y'all got, you know, somebody who is stuck <laughs> on a journey, on the path that they chose. And it looked like y'all are uh, y'all currently moving forward. Going towards better. Knowing, and uh, again, knowing that you good on your own. And you just got somebody, you know, hating on you for it. You ain't even doing nothing to nobody. You just living your life and you just got people hating on you. So let me get one more final message and that'll be it. Final message. Final message for the collective. When it comes to the you versus them. Final message for the collective when it comes to you versus them. Final message for the collective. Thank you. Trust the guidance you're receiving. So another message up from your ancestors that you are not alone. They want you to know whatever you got going on, you're not alone. You're not by yourself in this, okay? Talk to them. They heard you. 
It says, trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. You don't have to worry about whether or not you're making the wrong decisions. If you're unsure, just ask. Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, am I making the right decision? Am I going the right way? What do I need to do? Give me a sign. They will give it to you. You never have to stress or worry or think that you're making the wrong choice again in life and anything that you do because now you got a whole spirit team behind you that all you got to do is ask them for guidance and they will give it to you. Okay? Look, whatever it is, it's almost over. Bottom of the deck. Whatever you're going through, it's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. So whatever it is, keep going. Keep going. You almost at the finish line. And for some of y'all, y'all already crossed the finish line. And now you 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 bearing the fruits of your labor. Enjoy it. Because you deserve it. Okay? But I'm going to end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If so, I ask that you hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, share the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. We'd we'll love to have you. If you'd like to donate to my channel, get your girl a gift because y'all know I love surprises. Or if you just want to chit-chat, information is down below. Bye, y'all.